I still recall when I first started during the early days, the first two months, I couldn't sell. I couldn't sponsor people. I thought, you know, it's <coughs> very difficult to do the MA business because I myself was not convinced. In my mind, you see, MA product was so expensive. Who's going to buy the MA products? But when I met up with my upline, Dr. Jerry, he gave me a lot of good advice. And one of the best advice to me, he said, Fool, don't simply go and sell and sponsor. You will never sell, you will never sponsor because you can't even sell the product to yourself. How can you sell the product to your friend? Yeah. <laughs> the most difficult customer is you yourself. So buy some products, use it first, compare with the X brand. And I listened to Dr. Sherry's advice. I bought some Amway products, I bought some X brand, I make comparisons, I take notes, I ask a lot of people, I attend some meetings, I get a lot of facts. And finally, when I was convinced, suddenly selling is easy to me. And I sell a lot of products in the first one month, I sponsor a lot of people. In fact, that one month, I qualified 9%. Once you are convinced, if I can qualify 9% in the very first month, you can do it too. Yeah. Yeah. So why not? You spend some time to get some information, yeah. get some facts, and be convinced. And once you got convinced, challenge yourself. Challenge Mr. Fu's record. Make 9% in the first month. Can you do that? Yes! Yeah. My second advice to you is, once you get convinced that, hey, this is a great business, hey, the products are good, then you got to be motivated. I share with some of my uh, leaders from overseas. I'm not to I'm 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 to because I already shared the talks to them last night. <laughs> so I said, don't worry if you don't understand Mandarin. Okay? Because I want to focus to the Filipino. Yeah. Yeah. To help you to understand. Yeah. And I want to motivate you. I want to encourage you to take up the business seriously. And I want you to know that you can do it. Yeah. You yeah. can become successful. You can become diamond and you can become crown ambassador. Yeah. Yeah. Motivation is very important. You know why? Because Nobody can motivate you. Nobody can get you to do anything in M way. Yeah. Because we are not working for people. Because we are our own boss. You are your own boss. So nobody can motivate you to do your M way business. So you better learn how to motivate yourself. There are five ways of motivation, five forms of motivation. I, I hope you can uh, write it down or at least try to memorize it. Five forms of motivation. If you know the art of motivation, if you know how to motivate yourself, then you will know how to motivate other people. Yeah. Uh, just now our first uh, prize winner, you sponsor how many people? Sponsor? 13. 13. 30. 30. 30. Whoa. Now can you imagine sponsors 30 people? I use my kids. Right? <laughs> no, that's not good enough. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Wow. But but if if all your 30 downline, okay, if they are not doing anything, you have nothing. Yeah. I just want to uh, you know kind of uh, let you alert you because your 30 downline, like you, they also want to become successful. They also want to sell, they also want to sponsor, but somehow they may face some challenges. So, it's your responsibility to motivate them. When they are down, when they got discouraged, when they got disappointment, they got depressed, they come to you and you are the boss, you are the upline, you are the leader. It's your job to motivate them. That's why you must learn how to motivate people. You got to build the ability. Trust me, if you acquire the skill of motivation, you can do the MBA business. You can become diamond and you can even become a crown ambassador. So remember, there are five forms of motivation. The first form is motivation by fear. Fear. You see, because you are fear of something, that's why you do something. So you are motivated by fear. But in MBA, you cannot 
uh, motivated by fear. Uh, give one example. Uh, most of you are a, a, a what they call a wage earner. You work for people, right? So when you work for people, you have to be in the office five days a week. You have to be in the office <laughs> by nine in the morning. So you are punctual. You go to work every day. So you are motivated to work every day. Why? Because you are afraid. If you don't go to work every day, you are you have a fear that you may get punishment from your boss, right? Yeah. Or you may even lose your job. So you know when we work for people, fear motivation is very powerful. But in that way, we cannot use fear motivation. Alright? So you cannot tell your downline, this downline, hey, if you don't sell to sponsor, I sack you. Can you do that? <laughs> no, you can't, right? So I don't recommend you to use fear motivation in that way. The second form of motivation, we call it incentive motivation. Oh, in that way, we use a lot of incentive motivation. For example, you know, we win the first prize, we give you prizes, right? If you sell uh, 10,000, you get 3%. If you work hard, you perform well, and we invite you for free holiday. So because of incentive, you want to win some prizes. You want to win some performance, so you work. So you can use incentive to motivate yourself and use incentive to motivate your downline. But to me, this is also not really very, very useful because Somehow, some people, you know, you may dangle all the beautiful prizes or bonuses or treats, but somehow or other, when they face challenges, they say, so what, you know, if I don't earn the prize, I still lose nothing. You get what I mean or not? So incentive motivation maybe work for some people, but it doesn't work for everybody. So I would like to introduce you the third form of motivation. The third form of motivation is Recognition. I tell you, this is a very powerful tool to motivate people, right? Hey, for those who have just now when you are on stage, how do you feel? You feel great, isn't it? So many people cheers you, so many so many people take pictures, right? And and, and people shout at you. You feel proud, right? Yeah. Recognition. I tell you, everybody cry for recognition. So we want recognition. You want recognition. Your downline want recognition. So you must use, you know, recognition to motivate your downline. Think about that. If you know how to use this tool, I tell you, you can motivate a lot of people to do their business. You see, a lot of people they are successful. Uh, they have got money. They have got everything. They have good life. So what motivated them? Maybe recognition. Think about that. So motivation is a form, uh, recognition is a form of motivation. And this is number three, recognition, incentive, fear, this, uh, the fourth uh, motivation. In fact, it's only four forms of motivation. Sorry, the, 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 the fourth form of motivation is dream. Okay, do you have dreams? Yes. Very important to have dreams. But there is a saying, when you grow older, your dream becomes smaller. Yeah. I don't know whether you agree with me or not. I say, when you grow older, your dream becomes smaller. I don't know whether you agree with me or not. You see my point or not? When you grow older, your dream becomes smaller. But I think probably you disagree with me, right? <laughs> Jacinda, you disagree with me, right? <laughs> hey, these two, is, they are already 60. 60. 60. <laughs> <laughs> and Jacinda, please stand up. She is 37. 37. <laughs> 72 already. <laughs> Right. Okay. You are different from a lot of other people. Most other people, when they grow older, they have forgotten their dreams. But in that way, I want to encourage you, okay? As you grow older, I want you to, you know, come back and think about when you are young. What's your dreams? 
But when I first started my MV business, you know, I got big dream. I wanted to buy a car, I wanted to buy a house, I wanted to travel around the world. You see, they even congratulate me. <laughs> I have achieved my dream. <laughs> so thank you to the MV business that helped me to achieve my dreams. So ladies and gentlemen, dream is a very powerful form of motivation. So I advise you next time if people say no to you, okay? If you got discouraged, when you are down, okay? Don't get depressed. Don't give up hope. Think about your dreams. There is a saying, you know, hold fast to your dreams. For if dreams die, life is like a broken winged bird that cannot fly. So it's so sad if you if you lose your dreams, all right? So hold fast to your dreams. Never let anybody steal your dreams. Always have dreams. Always believe that your dreams can come true. So when you get down, get depressed, think about your dreams and you will get motivated. So ladies and gentlemen, especially those people who are in the front row, the graduates of the first PTC, learn, okay? Use dreams to motivate yourself. Remember that. I know you have a lot of challenges. I know a lot of people will discourage you. But I want you to understand that you must motivate yourself before you can motivate others. And dream is a very powerful form of motivation. But to me, I love the fifth <coughs> form of motivation. I know incentive is a great motivation, fear motivation, dream motivation, practicing can motivate a lot of people. But the best way of motivation is not incentive, it's not fear. It's not recognition, it's not dream. The greatest form of motivation is attitude motivation. Wow. It's attitude. So you do the MV business not just because of money, not just because of your dreams, not just because you want to get on straight on stage to be recognized. It's because you have a kind of attitude, a winner's attitude, success oriented attitude. Never give up attitude, a will to succeed attitude. You know, once you perform this kind of attitude, you are very powerful. You can motivate lots of people. <coughs> Trust me, I want you to cultivate this kind of attitude. Okay? Talk to yourself. No matter what kind of challenges or problems or obstacles ahead of me will not beat me. I will try until I make it. Hey, this is a fantastic kind of attitude. I hope you have this kind of attitude. Once you have this kind of attitude, you are very powerful. When you have possess this kind of right attitude, nothing can stop you from success. And I know most of you, if not all of you, agree to what I've shared, right? Believe. Never give up attitude. Okay? I will try until I make it this kind of attitude. Nothing can stop you. And I believe that you understand what I say. And I know in my heart that you will try to you know cultivate this kind of attitude. And please, and I want you to cultivate this kind of attitude because you have responsibility. Because you have already sponsored so many people. You have so many downlines, don't forget. And it's your responsibility. And many of them have challenges and problems. They want you to motivate them. And that is the reason why I want you to learn to acquire this kind of attitude. And once you possess that, you can motivate yourself and you can motivate all of your downlines. And your downline will be very grateful if you so with that, I end my speech. That's all for today. Always remember this. You are born to win engineer for success destined to be somebody great in life. All things are possible in life.
You are born to be a winner. May God bless you with great success, wealth, health and prosperity all the days of your life. Remember to subscribe, click on the subscribe button and the notification bell. Thanks for watching.